Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another review, man. And today we have a Santa Claus team, man. We have its freeze promo. Christmas is here. I mean, we have less than two weeks uh, to uh, Christmas. And yeah, man, it's really weird, man. It's really weird, those. Uh, either way, guys, we have a left back Toreda, man. It's really some, uh, I'm doing some great reviews, guy. guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below because I'm doing some strict reviews. I will do some Prime Icons uh, reviews for you guys uh, or that uh, Champions League card that came out uh, with that upgrade, what's the name, that um, Road to the Glory, not Road to the Glory, what's the, I don't know man, this Champions League live cards, I forgot their name. They got a huge upgrade last uh, yesterday, so I will try to do those. So make sure, guys, to subscribe to uh, so you can miss any episode, guys. So Torreira as a left back card, uh, it's interesting, guys. That's interesting because as uh, we don't have uh, some great left back in the La Liga, other than Mandy, I don't think that you have a good left back. So let's check out if you have some great left back in La Liga. A truly a position that lacked because everyone was using Mandy guys like I'm sick and tired to see Mandy's uh, in every team uh, no I'm just gonna go to La Liga and yeah guys uh, so we have Jordi Alba but other than that there isn't any usable card I mean Jordi Alba is usable but not that much other than Mandy you don't have any usable card man so this is really the uh, this is the uh, usable card outside of Mandy so we're gonna compare him is he better than Mandy or if you, you need to stick with Mandy so this card let's go to the one that I purchased he's going for 100k and I can tell you guys that in the midweek he will go uh, lower than 100k so you can get this card as an 80k 70k which is good medium high for his uh, left back is great three star three star is really great too left footed everything is good with him now the pace is quite good as left back i mean he's not top uh pace so he need to boost that pace with an anchor or a shadow cancel but other than that he has a great pace shooting wise nothing spectacular but pretty average for left back passing is really good not, nothing major on that uh, category but uh he's good as an 80 short passing and 80 long passing I mean, you don't need better than that, so that's great, man. And that dribbling stats, look at that, man. 95 balance with 88 agility uh, on a card, on a left back. That's mental, man. That's mental. So, and I felt that, man. And I felt that in game. I'm going to speak more about that. I really felt how he was agile in game. Uh, so, yeah, guys. And that defending part is really great. I didn't, other than that, the 62 heading accuracy which is bringing down that 83 defending part. Uh, the defensive starts for a left back is really good, man. Uh, if you can hop a shadow cancel or an anchor, it will be great. And last but not least, that physical uh, stats. He has some spectacular physical stats, man. It's 92 stamina with 96 aggression, man. That's really great. He has no traits, unfortunately. And yeah, man, he is from La Liga, Atletico Madrid, so you can link up with... Um, not uh, what's his name uh, you have that perfect link with the Uruguay I, I forgot his name what's his name oh shit I forgot man either way that Atletico center back Uruguay you can perfect link link with him uh, you can link with Valverde a strong link to Valverde so the link w is wide man your link is wide so we're gonna jump more to the gameplay I'm gonna speak more if he's worth it or if you got you need to stick with Mendy but the concept of it is really great man you have a new left back in la liga so yeah man let's jump to the gameplay and let's see if he's worth it so guys with the gameplay um uh, i will tell you from right now that uh, i didn't saw anything like mind-blowing with this car like he was good he was performing some good stuff but there wasn't something like i was yeah man this is better than mandy uh and unfortunately i will tell you from right now that Mandy is better than Torreira because uh, I don't know why Mandy is uh, overpowered more overpowered like you have that five star four star he's French uh, but I'm sick and tired to uh, see that Mandy card everywhere man 
But um, as a card in overall, I will say that if you want a card, a fun card, go with Torreira. But if you want uh, like a great card for you, like if you want to win more uh, games, if you want that solid left back, I think you need to stick with, with Torreira, man. But for me, I will go with Torreira because he's fun. He will provide you the job. He's not better than uh, Mandy, but he will do the job, man. Other than that, he was uh, quick. The dribbling, uh, 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 the dribbling aspect was really, really amazing. Like he had uh, 95 balance, some shit like that. And I really felt that in game because I felt that he wa I'm, I was performing some good dribbling stats with him. And that was amazing, man. Defending part was good, but he was getting pushed away sometimes and he was lacking that um, like defending part sometimes. So other than that, this was an overall that, that this is a good card. And for 100k, I'm going to wait for him to go lower uh, in the week. You can get him as an 80k, 90k. And other than that, his passing abilities was great too. So this is overall my uh, review for you guys. I mean, he was, I recommend him. I will give him a, as a 7 or 8 out of 10 because I think, I still think that Mandy is better than him. But in overall, this is a great, great, great card. It's a fun card to use. And other than that, I have nothing to say, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.